Hi everyone and welcome to the Dodo Bird Nerd. It's me, the Dodo Bird Nerd, and in today's Magic the Gathering video, I'm going to be doing the 10th part of my Magic the Gathering taxonomy series, this time going over birds. Again. This time is part 5, Axipitriforms and Falconiforms. As for the reason this is part 5 and not part 4, that would be because I realized today that I misnumbered the previous part in this series. So without any further ado, let's roll the intro and let's get started. So one quick thing before we get started, that being that all works used and images used will be in the description of the video. So first up, as you may have been able to guess from the introduction, are the Axipitriforms. So these are birds of prey that are awake during the day. And so the ones that are missing in Magic the Gathering are the following. The Bauteller, Bazas, Buzzard Eagles, Cuckoo Hawks, Goss Hawks, Harriers, Hawk Eagles, the Secretary Bird, Serpent Eagles, the Shikra, Snake Eagles, and Sparrow Hawks. And while there might be a few other ones I missed, these were the ones I mainly noticed on the list in terms of the ones that appeared to be missing in Magic the Gathering. So first up for the Axipitriforms are the Buzzards. Now apparently this name isn't entirely scientifically needed, as it's just a name given to some some Axipitriforms, kind of just, that's what just people call them. Doesn't really apparently have much merit in terms of being a specific thing. It also doesn't help that this Magic the Gathering art of a, of a Buzzard is not exactly scientifically accurate either, because I think it was from the Marari time, and so things were a bit weird. But, um, yeah, no, apparently buzzards are just not an entirely scientifically needed name. This will be a theme throughout the Axipitriforms. So next up are the eagles. And again, this name isn't technically super scientific. These are typically just big birds of prey. And that that's about it. That, that tends to be the main qualifier for being called an eagle, is a larger bird of prey. Next up are the urn, or the sea eagles, and these are eagles that tend to eat fish. They can eat other things, but, but fish tend to be the main thing. And so yeah, that, that, that's a sea eagle. Next up are hawks, and these are typically average-sized birds of prey. Again, continuing the whole thing of not a lot of the axipitriforms being super different from each other. Yeah, the hawk just tends to be a general term used for a generally average-sized bird of prey. That is an axipitriform. So yeah, those are those are hawks. So next up are kites. And again, this is more of a colloquial name than some other things I've covered in this series. However, this name tends to be a bit more specific to a certain group of uh, axipitriforms than the other ones which are typically more broad. This typically refers to only a few select groups of axipitriforms. So slightly more specific, actually, probably actually more incredibly specific than basically everything else covered so far in this video. And so next up are ospreys. And this is a type of bird of prey that nearly always eats fish. I guess you could say similar to the sea eagles, or urns. And so this is probably the most specific of everything so far covered in this video, as it is only referring to two types of birds. The western and eastern osprey. That is it. There are nothing else that this refers to, and they are related directly. And so that makes it the most specific so far in this video. So that's good, I guess. And so the final type of axipitriform are the vultures. And so this is a scavenger bird with two variations, old and new world. The ones that are axipitriforms are the old world ones. And the new world ones were covered earlier on in this series. And so yeah, that is essentially what a vulture is. Just a scavenger bird with two different types. And the ones that are axipitriforms are the old world type of vulture. And so the final type of bird that we're going to be covering in this video are the falconiforms. So these are birds of prey that are awake during the day, but are not axipitriforms, for a reason I'll get into in a second. As for the types that are missing in Magic the Gathering, those are the caracaras, falconets, and hobbies. So first up in the falconiforms are, well, falcons. So this is a type of bird of prey that is different from the other ones I covered already in the axipitriforms in terms of taxonomy, as they're closely related to other birds than they are to each other, as well as using its beak over its claws while hunting, which typically the axipitriforms will use their claw use their claws instead. And so that is basically a falcon, other than that it's a pretty standard bird of prey. The next falconiform up are the Jur falcons, and these are just the biggest type of falcon, they're a specific type of falcon, and these are the biggest type of falcon. 
And so the final type of bird for this video are the kestrels. And this is a type of falcon with a more passive technique while looking for food than other falcons tend to have. And so that concludes the 10th part of my Magic the Gathering Taxonomy series, the 5th part of birds. So what do you think of this part of my Magic the Gathering Taxonomy series? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye!